Today, we have two hunters trying to stop the GOAT from reaching 99 overall and winning a championship. Each year, the hunters and GOAT will participate in a series of challenges that will give you either a good or bad upgrade, depending on if you win or lose the challenge. But the moment the GOAT reaches 99 overall, the challenges will stop, and the only way the hunters will be able to stop the GOAT is through the playoffs. During every playoff series, one hunter will be selected at random to join the team the GOAT is facing off against. And if the GOAT reaches the NBA Finals, both hunters will join the opposing team to try to stop the GOAT. The GOAT will have 15 years to win a championship and reach 99 overall, and the hunters have 15 years to stop them. Somewhere around this video, I start mentioning MVPs being a tiebreaker. Just ignore that. It doesn't mean anything. Subscribe to the channel so I know to do more insane ideas. Let's go. All right, well, it's draft day. We already know who's going number one. I got to scroll down here, though. Oh, I didn't show the pitch. I was going to show the GOAT. Yeah, that's his name, but okay, I guess we just missed it. I'll just show it in the draft summary there. There's the GOAT. Number two will be our first hunter, Michael Jordan, and then our second hunter, LeBron James. I'm going to move them all back to 60 overall, but the manhunt has officially begun. Well, the GOAT so far not getting any minutes. So let's go ahead and get into our first challenge between the hunters and the GOAT. It'll be a three point contest. Hunters rotated spots. It's going to be five shots, one from each spot on the Court, MJ and LeBron will alternate, and then the GOAT will go by himself. Well, here we go. First shot for LeBron in the corner, and it's off. Let's see if MJ can knock down the left wing three, and he missed it. LeBron at the top of the key here, and uh, well, miss it again. It's kind of unlucky the first challenge is a three-point contest because none of their skills are honed in yet, but it kind of is what it is, and I don't think they're going to make a three. And final shot, LeBron from the right corner, and it's off. So the GOAT just has to make one three, and he'll win this challenge. Well, here we go. First one up, and it's off. Second three from the left wing, and... Oh he, oh, he made it. I didn't think he was in. I was just, co I was preparing the commentating for him missing it. Well, they don't call him the GOAT for no reason. Let's see what his upgrade's gonna be. It's gonna be plus five shooting badge points. Not bad. He's already got a few shooting badges, so any he doesn't have, we'll just put up at bronze. But he's still at a 60 overall. But now let's see what the bad wheel is gonna do to the Hunters. Minus 10 to all finishing attributes. The Hunters are off to a very bad start. MJ's down to a 59 overall, and so is LeBron. Let's sim to the trade deadline. Well, we're here at the deadline, and the Pistons aren't doing too bad. 31 and 26. Not like the GOAT's actually contributing anything. He's played one minute the entire season. Now let's go ahead and spin the Hunter Wheel to see who's going to be playing 1v1 here. It's going to be MJ. All right, well, here we go. The GOAT definitely has a bit of a size advantage, and from just making that one three-pointer, I guess he's a better shooter. Let's see what MJ can do. You're trying to drive to the basket, lays it up, missed. it. got his own rebound, though, puts it back up, and in 1-0 lead for MJ. Here comes the GOAT trying to body up MJ here. What the? Okay, I don't know why you're shooting post hooks, but he got his own rebound, puts it up and in. We're tied at one apiece. The GOAT trying to drive here. Oh, got MJ in the air. Nice move. MJ might have the lane here. Lays it up. Missed it. Rebound GOAT. GOAT's going to go to work here in the post. Might get that third point. Pump fake. He's got him down low. Just go. Okay, or smoke that. Please go back up with that. Okay. Please just go up with it and make it. Thank you. And the winner is the GOAT. The GOAT has been holding his own so far versus the Hunters. Let's see what his upgrade is. Plus five defensive badge points. We'll just go ahead and give him of what he doesn't already have and the goat still stays as a 60 overall now since mj is the only hunter to lose the challenge this downgrade will only be for him minus 10 to all physicals also mj got traded to the nuggets very weird but yeah that happened and mj stays as a 59 overall let's see if detroit can stay in the playoff race all right we got jaw winning mvp and detroit is in the playoffs as the fourth seed but since the goat doesn't actually contribute to this winning we're not going to sub in the different hunters to come in during playoffs here. we're just going to let this simulate by itself and the celtics win the championship tatum finals mvp and the goats now up to a 63 overall. LeBron's up to a 62 and MJ's quote-unquote down to a 62. Well, let's get into our beginning of the season challenge. That's gonna go ahead and be a dunk contest. All right, LeBron, let's see what you got. Don't worry about the jerseys. Who cares? All right, he's running in and uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, he smoked the windmill. Gonna change it up now. Start from the left wing and Oh, okay. LeBron, are you good, buddy? Just just dunk it, man. There you go. All right. He got a 36 for that. He should have got way lower. Now it's MJ's turn. Let's see if he can keep the average score up. It okay, that was just the most basic dunk ever and still missed it. You're going to try something else, MJ? It just... Uh, uh, like, why do they both keep missing dunks? going to try here from the right wing and win... Uh, are, you, are you done? Is, is it over? Or are you just going to keep trying? <laughs> this is so sad. Maybe one more time. This one's going to be the one. Yeah, okay. There you go. That dunk was a two-pack of ass. He also got a 36. What? Well, obviously, their average score is 36. So let's see what the GOAT can do. He's got to beat out 36. I mean, as long as you don't miss your first two dunks, you should be fine. Little 360. That should be higher than a 36. And the push-ups. Ah! Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself there. But, you know, he, he went crazy. He got a 30 for that. But MJ LeBron. Bro, what is this bias? Well, that's going to be an upgrade for both MJ and LeBron. Let's see what they get. Plus 20 to all defensive attributes. Well, this will be trouble, especially for the 1v1s at the trade deadline. And LeBron's now at a 68 overall from those upgrades. And MJ's up to a 67 overall. Well, I'm not going to lie. The GOAT definitely got robbed right there, but it is what it is. Minus 20 to all playmaking attributes. This is looking bad. Well, he didn't go down too much, and I guess the good thing is you don't need passing for a 1v1. And the GOAT's still not getting minutes. Let's see what happens at the trade deadline. Well, the Pistons aren't doing so good at the 10th spot. And the GOAT has not played a single minute this 
this season, hence why you don't see his stats. I guess if I'm the GOAT, I'd rather go up against MJ, and he's gonna go up against MJ again. Got lucky. I'm not sure if the GOAT can really afford here to lose to the Hunters again in a second straight challenge, especially if he's gonna get one of those really bad downgrades. Alright, that's a good start. And it's not even like he needs to get to 9 on overall faster than the Hunters. That doesn't really matter. As long as he gets a 9 9, that's fine, but he just can't be. What? MJ driving, pump fake, and nothing there for him. Gets blocked, got his own rebound. He might put that back up and in, and he does. Uh oh. MJ going to the basket. Oh my god. How do you get cooked like that? So now MJ will get his good upgrade, which is going to go ahead and be plus 10 to all shooting attributes. MJ's now at a 69. And as long as the GOAT doesn't get hit with any really bad defense. Okay, that's not as bad. It could have been worse. And now the GOAT is down to a 61 overall. It is looking rough. Well, we got John winning another one. We got the Chort in the playing tournament. But again, the GOAT's not contributing anything to that. So we're not going to put in the Hunters in the playoff series. And the Cavs win the championship. Garland averaging 39 and 13. He is a sim god, bro. And well, here's player progress with the GOAT being at a 64 overall. I guess he's getting a better jump shot and some other things, but he is very much behind the Hunters. LeBron's now a 71 overall, and MJ is a 73 overall. I wouldn't say it's code red for the GOAT, but it's getting pretty damn close to it. We got a 1v1 gauntlet sudden death. So the GOAT has to score on both MJ and LeBron, and first the score wins. But the GOAT will also get two changes, so if MJ scores here and he doesn't, he'll get a second chance to try it all over again, and the GOAT... Bro, you gotta finish that. MJ trying to go to the basket here. Not an angle for him. He, oh, he might have it right there. Oh, he missed it. Wow. Oh, nice move from the GOAT! That was beautiful! Now he's gonna move on to LeBron. And again, if he doesn't score on LeBron, he'll get a second chance starting with MJ. Go try to make a move! Oh, we got the angle! And he scored! I don't know who takes a pull-up jumper right here, but I guess he's the pro, not me, huh? This is a real opportunity for the GOAT to make up some ground. Here's gonna go ahead and get plus 20 to all playmaking. He needs that back. Well, he's definitely getting himself back up there, up to a 66 overall. And this downgrade could be huge for the GOAT here. It's gonna be minus 10 to all playmaking. Not crazy, but still, I guess it's okay. So LeBron actually stayed at a 70. And MJ only went down one overall to a 72. And the GOAT is still a reserve. Let's go to the trade deadline. And the Pistons are irrelevant at 22 and 35. Not like it really matters because, again, he still has only played one NBA minute this entire video. I made the Hunter real small to change the outcomes. Let's see who we're going to go ahead and get. It's going to be LeBron this time in the 1v1. LeBron going right to the basket here, lays it up. And, okay, this is looking bad. LeBron going to the basket here, lays it. Okay, all right, got to stop. Oh, no, you didn't. Nope, no, you didn't. Go trying to size up. Okay, all right, there you go. You just got to get a couple stops here. Go trying to make it. No, don't force it. Don't for if it's not bro what are you what are you doing like why are you trolling this well let's see if the hunters can make up some more ground here it's gonna be plus one to all finishing badges so we'll go ahead and raise all these you already had a lot of them on gold oh my god now lebron's up to a 72 as long as the downgrade here isn't terrible for the goat we should be okay minus one to all playmaking badges okay i don't even know how many he has all right well you know what he didn't really have that many just hails for days hyperdrive killer combos mismatch okay you know okay he actually had quite a bit but not that many this is this is okay that still kept them at a 60 Six, but LeBron definitely got a lot better. He's gonna be impossible to guard in those 1v1s. All right, well, we got LaMelo winning MVP, dropping 33 and 13. And Detroit is irrelevant once again, 13 seed. And the Thunder won the championship. Shea Finals MVP, dropping 25 and 10. The GOAT is just under 70 overall. LeBron's up to a 75. Also playing with his son. Good for him. And MJ's a 77 overall. He's definitely the best one. He just has to somehow win this next challenge. And it's gonna go ahead and be the dunk contest again. Let's see if the dunk contest will be rigged this time, where you can somehow miss two dunks and still get a third. 36, and that is the most basic dunk I've ever seen. And he's taking a bow. Okay, thank you. That deserves a 27 as it should. And now it's MJ's turn. Let's see what this basic dunk's gonna be. Okay, oh, that was a nice little reverse. That was, that was nice. Okay. I'd give him like a 30, 31, you know, that's something like that. He got a 32. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. Which means their average score is a 29.5, so he just has to get 30 and above to win right here. Come on, go. You gotta have something good here. Bounce it off. Oh, you gotta make that. But I guess we've learned you can miss multiple dunks and still get high ratings through the legs that should get at least a 30 and he got a 40 for that i don't understand how you miss dunks and your score goes up i i don't get it but he won come on go we need a big upgrade here come on man what do we got plus one all defensive matches that'll help a lot in the 1v1 i'm not sure what this is gonna do for him actually for his overall but it is what it is yeah he's still a 69 that didn't do really anything but it'll be really worth it if they both get a bad downgrade here minus 20 to all i guess that's pretty yeah that's perfect that put lebron down to a 70 overall that did good and that put mj down to a 74 overall not bad at all if the go can survive the trade finder 1v1 and then go into the offseason he'll definitely be getting minutes next year well we're at the deadline and the pistons are somewhat relevant okay now if i'm the goat i don't really know who i would prefer to play here but i guess we're going up against lebron oh also lebron and the goat are just on the same team now that's interesting they traded turner and sadiq bay for sabonis and lebron well here we go this is a big 1v1 oh like go like i understand lebron's defense is a lot worse now but please don't just start pulling threes and lebron's gonna drive right by and throw it down lebron trying to go to the basket here floats it up what lebron driving to the basket 
can hear that mic. Yep, that's right in. Well, I guess it's time for LeBron to get his upgrade. That's going to go ahead and be plus one to all shooting badges. He didn't really have that many either, so this is going to help out a lot. He stayed at a 71, though. And let's hope the GOAT doesn't get a terrible downgrade here. It's going to be highest rating down the 25. Well, after looking through all of his ratings that isn't potential or stamina, that is going to be layup. So now he's going to have a very, very hard time in these 1v1s. And he also just went down five overalls. And not only did he go down five overalls, but LeBron is also starting in place of him because I think he's the only other small forward on the roster right now. We got Shea coming in and winning MVP. And I thought the Pistons were going to be pretty good, but they're the 11th seed out of the playoffs. Did LeBron play bad on purpose to sabotage? I mean, he shot under 40%, so maybe. And he shot 23% from three. Oh, wait, and the GOAT actually got some minutes. How was I blind? Yeah, he actually played this year. Oh, he was playing before the LeBron trade happened and before LeBron took his spot. Wow, that is actually insane. Gotta clap it up for the Hunters, man. They're doing a good job, and the Thunder win the championship. Shea Finals MVP. And the GOAT is out of the league right now. It's a 69 overall. And this man wants $20 million a year. I don't know who's giving him that. Well, I guess we're gonna find out now and see which team signs him. And that team's gonna go ahead and be the Toronto Raptors. Okay. Well, here's the GOAT on Toronto with a six-year $120 million contract. That's $20 million a year. And then here's the rotation, obviously, with the GOAT not being in it yet. Well, let's go ahead and see what the next challenge is. Gonna go ahead and be a three-point contest. That's not gonna be good. All right, well, we're gonna start off with Jordan this time. He's got a 78 three-point shot. So let's see how this goes. MJ up for three. And it's in. And now it's LeBron's turn from three on the left wing. And he missed it. His three's only at 59. Back around with MJ here at the top of the key. And it's off. LeBron here on the right wing. And he missed it. Final shot here for the Hunters. MJ from the corner missed it. So he only has to make two. Won the tie. And the GOAT's three-point rating is a 60. Let's see if he can do it. First shot up. It's off. Second shot from the left wing. It's off again. Top of the key's got to be the money spot. Oh, my God. It looks like the GOAT might choke this. Oh, <laughs> you just got to send it to sudden death. Oh, he made it. And now we're going to go bar for bar. First one to make it is the winner from the top of the key. MJ first. Oh, it's off. This would be a big win here for the GOAT. Oh, my God. Can LeBron seal it away? Jesus. I'm not going to lie. You better make this or MJ's definitely going to make the next shot. Oh, my God. This is for the sudden death portion. Oh, and he knocks it down. The Hunters win another challenge. Another upgrade here for LeBron on MJ. What's it going to be? Plus 10 to all shooting. That'll help in the three-point contest for next time. LeBron moves to a 77 overall. And MJ's now an 81. If you're wondering why his three's at 92 and it was like a 78 in the practice mode, I don't know why the overalls change sometimes in the practice mode. It just kind of is what it is. And let's see what the bad will has in store for the GOAT here. Going to be minus five playmaking. He definitely got off easy. Oh, he actually doesn't have any playmaking badges, so nothing happens at all. I don't know how the GOAT's going to win the 1v1 at the Line. Let's go ahead and sim there. Well, we're here at the deadline, and the Raptors aren't bad. Fifth seed. Just as long as he doesn't get MJ, I think he'll be okay playing LeBron. Oh, he's gonna play. Okay, he just, that almost went on the MJ. That is so close. Goat, you got something planned? He might. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna slip right on. Oh, he might have it. Oh my, bro, that was an open. Oh, right, his lamp's like a 40 now or whatever. I forgot. Jesus Christ, man. There's just there's nothing there for you. Oh my, how did he make that? Oh man, he just got blown right by. That was some great defense. Goat, yeah, that that is terrible. But he might get the rebound, and he does put it up. Yes, that was quick. He didn't try to jump real high. He just flicked it up real quick. LeBron trying to drive by here. A little. Oh, I don't know what the hell that's really. Well, goat, you're gonna have to score right now because if he gets this ball back, he is scoring again. Goat. Trying to make a move to the basket here. Get the rebound. Oh, how does he keep making these? This man has a 41 layup. And also, he went above one overall during the season. But, uh, yeah, just I don't understand how he made any of those layups. I guess he does have some finishing badges. That might be helping him out. Well, that was a huge 1v1 for the go-to win. He's going to go ahead and get plus 20 to all defensive entries. That's going to help out a lot in those 1v1s. And that put the goat all the way up to a 76 overall. Let's see what downgrade LeBron's potential going to get here. Three highest ratings drop down to 20. Well, his highest rating is lateral quickness. That's going down to a 25. Next up is actually his mid-range at an 81. And then offensive consistency going down to a 25. That's rough. That put LeBron at a 72 overall. And the GOAT is finally getting minutes on a team. Well, he was before last year, before the trend line. But now, when he gets into the playoffs, he'll actually go up against one of the Hunters now. Let's sim to the end of the year. Darius Garland, the sim god, getting an MVP. Look at Bronny averaging 36 and a... What the hell is going on in the NBA? And the Raptors are surprisingly the number one seed in the East. And they got to play the Wizards in the first round, who are actually
actually a pretty good team. But let's see who's going to be joining them. LeBron or MJ? And it's going to be MJ. That's tough. And the Raptors are going to take down the Wizards here in six games. The GOAT putting up a solid six points a game in the playoffs. And I'm not going to lie, this might be one of the greatest eight seeds I've ever seen in my life. Like, they have a lot of high 80s. They had a 90 overall coming off the bench. And obviously, MJ, who they just put in, but he didn't play that well in this game. And now they got to play the Sixers with Maxi and Edwards. They got a good team. But let's see who's joining this team. That's going to go ahead and be MJ as well. All right. And Philly's going to get us here on a gentleman sweep, so that one's over. They definitely had the better team also with the addition of MJ. Where, where, where is he? What team is he? Where, where, where is he? Is he not even in the rotation? Okay, I must have forgot to trade him. There. I literally hit accept trade. Maybe I hit the climb. Maybe I'll show the footage if I have it, but maybe I hit the wrong button. Well, it is what it is. They still lost. Doesn't matter. And Anthony Edwards, well, so does MJ. MJ wins the championship too. All right, well, the GOAT's up to a 79 overall. Things are looking good. Bronze up to a 76. And Jordan went back to Wizards after I just traded him to Philly out there in the playoff series and all that. But still, he went back to Washington. He's an 84 overall now. These challenges are going to start getting good now that the GOAT can really compete in the... Okay, another dunk contest. Let's see if LeBron can make his first dunk. Just... Oh, that would have been nice if he made it. Start from the left wing here. Going up. Okay, that's still 360. That was nice. I don't think it deserves a 47! But okay. Well, MJ's turn. I, I mean, you don't really, you can't go much better than that. The GOAT would need MJ to completely flop here. And he just copies LeBron and does a 360 as well. And he got a 33. Okay, that's not bad. That gives an average score of 40. So he just has to score 40 or higher. If he gets to 40, then we'll do a tiebreaker. Come on, GOAT. What do you got? Like, if you even counted that one, that would have been ridiculous. Like, why did you do that? I don't know if you understand what's at stake here. Bro, make the dunk. Make the dunk. You just got to get over a 40 here. 360 through the legs. Give him higher than a 40. That was the best dunk so far. He got a 44. <laughs> yes, there we go, GOAT. What another huge win there for the GOAT. He's going to get plus 20 to all shooting. That's huge for the 1v1s. And now the GOAT is an 82 overall and a knockdown shooter. The tables are turning for the Hunters right now. Let's hope this upgrade isn't, or this downgrade isn't too bad. Minus 10 off physicals. That's not terrible. That only put MJ down one overall. And I'm not even sure if LeBron went down. He might have been a 76, but I, I think he stayed the same. And now the GOAT is the sixth man of the Raptors. That's good to see. Let's see what happens this year. All right, we're at the deadline. And the Raptors are in pretty good shape. 32 and 21. With the GOAT putting up some good numbers. Shooting really good from three. Field goal. Yeah, we can work on that. The layup's really low. But 17 a game, seven rebounds. He's playing good. But let's see if that'll translate in the 1v1 going up against LeBron. That's definitely the better draw. The GOAT trying to drive here. Got, I don't know why. Or how he keeps making levels with that low ass rating, but keep it up, man. Goat might have the angle. Like, oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'll hold on. What was that move? So he got it right here, and then he. What? Uh, the ball just went through LeBron's body. Yeah, I've used this move a few times in my fair share of pickup game. Just go through the body. I I've done that one before. Yeah, that one works a lot. Is the GOAT going to get his first skunk here of the video? Drives right by LeBron. Wow. Well, the more upgrades for the GOAT, the better. Let's see what he got here. Plus one to all playmaking. That's solid. He definitely needs to be able to handle the basketball, so this will help him out for sure. But he's still an 83 overall. And it is starting to look bad for Hunter LeBron James. He's going to get minus 10 to all physicals. Well, I guess it wasn't that bad. He's still a 75. Let's go ahead and sim the season. Shea got himself another MVP. And the Raptors face it off against the Wizards, so I guess that kind of fits perfectly. So let's see if the GOAT could take down this stack team and LeBron. And the Raptors fought hard, but LeBron James and the Wizards are getting the win. Wow, the GOAT had a terrible playoffs. 10 points a game, 27% from the field, 20% from three. LeBron was probably guarding. They both come off the bench. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. This was MJ. I'm stupid. My bad. I don't even know. I, I Listen, man, there's a lot to keep track of this video. I apologize. But we were going up against, we were going up against a Hunter at least. And the Magic win the championship exactly. Xavier Booker finals MVP. And now the GOAT's up to an 87 overall, approaching all-star level. I think MJ and LeBron both left their respected teams. Yeah, Jordan's now on the Pacers where he's an 86 overall. And LeBron went back to Cleveland. How fitting. Let's see what we got next for our manhunt challenge. It's going to go ahead and be first to three points, 2v1. It's not really a 2v1. The GOAT's teammate will be the best player on his team. The GOAT trying to dry. He's, he's going right at MJ. I don't, I don't know why you would do that, but uh, not off to the best start here. So is Nasir Cunningham just not going to do anything? We're just going to have ISO time with GOAT and MJ. I mean, I guess it's fine as long as he scores, but I'd like to see Nasir do something. Oh, good steal there. Okay, well, I guess he did something right there. Throws it down. They got a 2-1 lead. LeBron going to work in the poster on this year. I don't think this is the best shot. Might want to get that out. Yeah, that, that's not the best idea. Nasir goes back up and puts it in. They win 3-1. Well, LeBron is definitely holding back the Hunters right now. Plus 10 to all physicals. We'll take it. The GOAT's now an 88 overall. And now let's see what the Hunters got to have happen to them. Minus 5 finishing badges. That's not bad at all. MJ went down 1 overall. And LeBron also went down 1 overall. Let's 
see if the Raptors can make a championship run. They got a good enough team to do it. So we're at the deadline, and the Raptors are pretty good. 34 and 20. And the GOATs having a better year here. 18 points a game, 9 rebounds, shooting oh, a little less from 3, but better from the field overall. And well, if he's going to play LeBron here, it sounds like a free win. And well, this one's going to be tough. The GOAT might have a lane, just big bodied him. GOAT going to work in the post here, just muscling MJ right now. Oh my God, he might have the angle yet again. And it's 2 0 the GOAT. Man, the GOAT wants to win this bad. He's not even thinking about a jump shot or nothing. He went all bully ball for all three of those points. So we got ourselves another upgrade for the GOAT. It's going to be plus 20 all finishing. And that's going to help out on the 1v1 even more because this lamp has been terrible. So now the GOAT has officially reached 90 overall. And here's MJ's downgrade. This is looking really bad for the Hunters right now. Minus five shooting. That's really nothing. He didn't really have that many shooting badges in the first place. So he's fine. He's still an 85 overall. I guess Shea's becoming the real GOAT in this video. And the Raptors are the second seed in the East win in 52 games. Got to face off against a tough Bucks team with Bronny. Oh my God. But let's see who's going to be Jordan in that team. It's going to be LeBron. And the Raptors are going to win here in six games. Look at the GOAT dropping 27 9 9 and 10. What a game. And I guess LeBron is so bad he barely played for this team. He didn't play any minutes in this game. They do have players who are better than him. 80 overall, 83 overall, 87 overall, 79 overall, 80 overall. They're just too many better players. And now they got to face off versus Detroit. They got Cade. The Hunters definitely want MJ joining this team, and it's going to be LeBron again. Look how many MJs were around that one LeBron. And the Raptors are going down here in a gentleman's sweep. I don't think LeBron's contribution meant much here with Cade dropping 39, 12, and 13. That's pretty hard to beat. Oh my god, the GOAT chokes. Seven points on three for 16 shooting. And the Magic win the championship. Xavier Booker finals MVP. We got MJ up to an 87 overall. LeBron's up to an 80. And the GOAT just spews up to a 94 overall. He's getting very close to checking off that box of hitting 99 overall. So the Hunters better do something fast here. What do we got? A three-point contest. We had MJ lead off in the last three-point contest. This time it's going to be LeBron. Anyway, here we go. First shot for LeBron and it's off. And here's MJ's shot. That should go in. And there you go. LeBron just got to make one or two shots and they'll be in this and he knocks down the top of the key three let's see if jordan can make his shot too and oh you cannot miss with a 99 three ball final shot for the hunters and it's off two for five and the goat has a pretty good three-point rating let's see how he does first one from the corner it's off second shot left wing it's in. Oh my god, that was in. I don't know why I said it like that, but here we go. Third shot for the GOAT, and it's off. He's got to at least make one here to send in the sudden death, and he missed it. You got to at least send it in the sudden death, and he missed it. He goes one for five with a 99 three-point rating. Out of both the Hunters, LeBron especially needs a good upgrade here. Plus 20 to all shooting. That's going to help out a lot for them. Okay, well, not really MJ. He already has like 99 and almost everything. Yeah, that literally did nothing for MJ. And LeBron's starting to make his way up. He's now up to an 82 overall. This could be a huge downgrade right here. We'll see what he gets. Highest rating down to 25. Wow. All right, so the GOAT actually has a lot of ratings that are 99 overall. So let's pick a number between 1 and 37, which is how many different attributes there are, and it's going to be 33. Here we go. 37, 36, 35, 34, 33. And the closest 99 rating that we can actually change, not stamina, that would be help defensive IQ. So that's going down to a 25, which dropped the GOAT all the way to a 91. That's rough. Let's see how he looks by the trade deadline. Here at the deadline again, and the Raptors are still solid. Nothing crazy. The GOAT's got to get better. And hopefully he does with this 1v1 going up again. Against MJ. All right. Last time they played 1v1, the GOAT just took it right to the paint every single time and just babied MJ. MJ got stuck here. That's good. He might get his own rebound, though. Yep, he got his own rebound and put it back up. Oh, he missed that. Oh, you gotta put. Oh, nice pump fake. And there you go. MJ driving to the basket here, lays it up and in. Uh, there's some trouble here for the GOAT. MJ going to the basket, gets stopped there, goes up, block, puts it back up. There we go. All right, two to two. MJ trying to drive here, might have position. Missed it, got his own rebound, though. Don't fall for the pump fake. There you go. Good block. Okay, stay on him. Just stay on him. Don't let him spin. Nothing like that. Oh, that, that looked, okay, I don't know about that. That looked like a crazy flagrant foul, but okay, the post hook for the win! I guess he has been working on the post hook. It's up to a 78. Let's see if the GOAT can get some help here, get back around to a 93, 94, plus 20 to all finishing. And now he's up to a 93 overall, made most of that ground back. And as for Jordan, he's gonna go ahead and get minus one to all playmaking badges. So all these are going down. And that actually put MJ down to an 86. He was an 87 before. Let's send to the end of the year. We got Cade Cunningham winning MVP. And look at LeBron winning sixth man of the year. I think he won another war two. Most improved player. Look at that. And the GOAT finally made an NBA team with his teammate Jace Fridgerson on second team. The Raptors are the fourth seed of the East, winning 52 games. Now he's got a face-off versus the Knicks, which a lot of these NBA teams have very good players. I have yet to run into a playoff team that just completely sucked. But let's see who's joining that Knicks squad. That's going to go ahead and be LeBron. We got a very close game seven here.
Okay, that, that was cool. And trying to go to the basket. And nothing really there for him. Pump fake. It might have to land the go. Okay, two-point game. The go trying to drive here. Nothing there for him. Getting double team. Kicks it out there to Perry for three. Knocks it down. What a pass from the GOAT. Edwards trying to drive here. Might get that to go. Missed it. Rebound. Jackson puts it back up and in. Yeah, that was like a terrible shot. Now we have the GOAT at the line. First one up and in. Second one to make this a five-point game, and he missed it. Edwards trying to make something happen. Snatches it back. Going to work. Trying to drive. Nothing there. This is some great defense. Just got to chuck up a deep three, and he missed it. Rebound GOAT, and that'll do it. And LeBron did play a role in this series for them, but I guess it just wasn't enough. What he averaged? 10 points a game? Okay, that's fine. Now we're in the second round versus the Pistons, which is the team LeBron just left. So Let's see if LeBron will be making a return to this team, and he won't be. It'll be MJ this time. And that's going to be a blowout here in game six. MJ dropped 31 for this team. That is some great work by the Hunters right there, completely sabotaging the GOATS playoff run. Without MJ, they probably lose this. Look at that. He was dropping 22 and 6 in this playoff series. And the Pistons went ahead and won the whole thing. Okay, well, that's cool. But again, the points don't matter for championships. You don't get nothing for that. LeBron's now an 86 overall. MJ's up to an 88. And the GOATS up to a 95. Almost there. Let's see what the next manhunt challenge will be it's gonna go ahead and be a 1v1 gauntlet i've seen that in a while all right well we know how the gauntlet works let's see what the goat can do go go right in the boat okay well that was quick on the mj go trying to drive to the basket got position and laid it up and in that was too easy let's see if the goat can get a game changing upgrade it's gonna be oh he almost got the three lowest race and nine, nine. that would have been insane but plus that null play making a solid that put the goat up to a 96 only three more overalls and as for lebron and mj they're gonna go ahead and get minus 10 to all physicals that only put lebron down one overall and the same thing with mj this feels like the year they should be able to win the championship with 390 overalls. You should get it done. At the deadline once again, the Raptors are looking in good shape. Just that Pistons team might be better. But let's see who's playing the GOAT in the 1v1. It's gonna be LeBron. GOAT gonna post up LeBron here, trying to make a way to the basket. Got the GOAT. 42% contested, but I guess that doesn't matter. GOAT working on the left block. Might have something. Oh my god, what a move. LeBron trying to drive to the basket. Gets the layup to go. Okay, he's making this competitive. Okay, I don't know about that shot. Yeah, that Oh, okay, you make that. Reason why I said it is because the GOAT was 3 for 19 in that game. I cut a lot of that out. Well, he's one step closer to hitting 99 overall. It's going to be plus 20 to all physicals. And those upgrades put the GOAT at 98 overall. He's so close to his first goal. And as for LeBron, he's going to go ahead and get minus 20 to all playmaking. We haven't had a really bad downgrade in a while. That's pretty rough. That surprisingly didn't drop him down at all. That's crazy. Let's see if the GOAT can win it all. And the GOAT's going to get himself an MVP. That'll help for the tiebreaker if we need one. And at least the Raptors won't have to face the Pistons till the conference finals because that team is scary. But they got the Knicks in the first round. LeBron LeBron's already here, so we're just going to let it ride. And that's going to be an easy sweep for the Raptors. LeBron, you put up a good fight. He shot 65% from three. I mean, you tried your best, man. And the MVP did MVP things in this game, dropping 54 points. And up next, we have to play the Bucks, who have 390 overalls. Let's see if LeBron or MJ gets added to this team. They're going to go ahead and get LeBron on the team. Okay. The Bucks are going to win here in six games. That's a tough team. And then adding LeBron is just insane. How many times has LeBron played with Bronny in this one video on different teams? Like three different teams. And the Bucks went ahead and won the championship. So LeBron and MJ both have championships. Again, doesn't matter because they're hunters, so I don't, I don't really know what to do with that. LeBron's up to an 87 overall. Jordan went to Boston. He's an 89 overall. And the GOAT is so close to 99. Just has to probably win one more challenge. So let's go ahead and see what that challenge is going to be. We got dunk, dunk contest again. Jesus. Alright, here we go. Another fraudulent dunk contest. You know what? The last two weren't that rigged, so it's fine. Okay, nice little reverse dunk for the king. That got him a 40? Like, that's an in-game dunk. Alright, MJ, what you got? MJ? Okay. Th oh, well, you missed it. Let's try that again, maybe. Oh, okay, that's over for 2. Watch him still get a 40 on this dunk. Okay, he's missed three dunks. Can we just give him like a 20 and call it a day? He got another dunk for us. Maybe something cool. All right, that was nice. That got him a 30 as it should. Okay, so their average is 35. So we just gotta get higher than a 35 and we're good. Come on, Goat. This is for 99 overall. What you got? Okay, I, that, that might get you like a 36, 37. That wasn't too impressive. Oh my god. Of course it's a 34. So the Hunters barely survive another day and they're gonna go ahead and get plus 10 to all physicals. Not bad at all. Well, that did nothing for MJ. They didn't even go up one. Well, at least LeBron got better. He's at an 88. Well, it's now time for the downgrade. This could be huge. It's going to be minus 20 to all physicals. That might have been the worst thing he could have possibly gotten. Well, it didn't kill him as much. I thought he'd be down like a 94, 95, but he only went down one overall, so I guess, you know, he's not doing too bad. That championship window starting to close, man. You only got five years left. Let's get it done. Here at the deadline. The Raptors are the third seed now. We got LeBron's team as the second seed. I don't know who Philly has. Let's see which hunter is stepping in for the 1v1. It's going to be LeBron. 
Oh my, I, 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 I can't even talk right now. The classic you reach, I teach. I was going to make a Chris move reference, but we'll just move on. Go trying to drive. Got position. Easy lay. LeBron trying to drive to the basket. Nothing there. To step. Why? Oh, he got stripped and that'll do it. Let's see if this upgrade gets to go to 99 overall. It's going to be plus 20 to all playmaking. I don't know how bad his playmaking is. I guess we'll see. Got him back up to a 98, but still missing that 99. And now for LeBron's bad wheel spin. That's going to get a minus 10. Why do we keep getting physical attributes? And LeBron barely went down, but he has like no speed. It's pretty bad. Victor got himself an MVP, same draft class. And the Raptors are the fourth seed. And look at this. Four different teams had the same record. That's crazy. And LeBron is on this team. He just doesn't start. So let's see what happens. He really just can't beat this Bucks team. Like, he's going down bad. And the Sixers win the championship. VJ Miller finals MVP. MJ's up to a 91 now. LeBron's up to a 90. And the GOAT is still just one overall from calling off all the challenges. So he can just go straight for a championship. So until he hits 99 overall, the Hunters will still have a chance in this a three point contest. We're going to lead off with MJ this time. First three up, and it's in. So Second three for the Hunters by LeBron, and it's all. Third shot up top of the key. Got it. The Hunters are two for three. Let's see if LeBron can help out that right now. And he knocks it down three for four. I'm not going to lie. Four out of five would be hard to beat. Oh, and he missed it three out of five. All right, good. You got to at least make three to get to the sudden death. First one up, and it's off. Second three from the right. Well, left wing. Sorry, and he knocked it down. Top of the key three. Oh, man. He's got to make both of these to go to sudden death. Right wing three. It's in. And the final three here. Got it! Now we're going to sudden death where LeBron gets the first shot. It's off. This could be for 99 overall. The shot's up. And it's good! Will this be the upgrade to get him to 99 overall? It's going to be plus one to all shooting badges. This is going to be close. And it was enough to get the GOAT to 99 overall. Meaning that the challenges are done and the only thing left for the GOAT to do is get by the Hunters in the playoffs and win the championship. So let's see if he can do it. I was so excited for the GOAT that I forgot to give downgrades for LeBron on MJ. Wow, that is nasty. That'll put LeBron at an 88 overall. And that also put MJ at an 88 overall. The GOAT gets himself an MVP. And the Raptors won 60 games as the second seed. They got the Cavs in the first round. This team's pretty mid. Let's see who gets added to it. They're going to go ahead and be adding LeBron. Well, we definitely got to watch this. LeBron's not even in the game, and he was starting at small four for them, and Goat is going to take... Wow, he made that. Goat going to use the screen. They're going to pull from three. Knocks it down with a tough shot from the GOAT. Trey trying to drive to the basket, getting double team. I want to kick it out or no. Oh, he smoked the layup. That was terrible. Oh, and there goes the GOAT with no one near him. Throws it down, and that's going to do it. Wow, he took care of business here. So I guess they're moving on. How did LeBron play in these playoffs? Wow, LeBron played really good. 25 and 8. That's all you can really ask from a hunter right there. Now they got to play the Heat in the second round. They don't have anyone crazy except for Xavier Booker, but uh, we're going to be adding LeBron or Jordan. I guess this team would rather add Jordan, I guess, but they're going to add LeBron again. Look at that. Through all those Jordans. We got a two point game with 30 seconds left in overtime and the king is going to the line first one up and good second one to make this a two possession game and he got it the go gonna pull a deep three missed it and that is gonna do it all the hunters have to do is hold off the goat for three more years right three or four whatever it is and the heat win the championship i almost feel like i want tiebreakers to involve the championships as well man like it feels like it's not fair or maybe there's no tiebreakers and it's just the goat has to complete both goals i have no idea but you guys can let me know which one you think would be better for the video let's see what happens in year 12 victor got an mvp raptors ain't looking too good as the six seed but let's see which hunter is joining philly can mj just win one of these i feel like lebron's been winning all of them okay just more lebron well fun fact here the raptors were up 3-0 on Philly and blew a 3-0 lead. Man, the GOAT has had some underperforming numbers in the playoffs. This is bad. I mean, LeBron played okay, but it was enough to take him down. Philly wins the championship. LeBron finals MVP. Like, I feel like there just shouldn't be a tiebreaker. Like, I, re I really do. So, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. The GOAT has three years to win the championship. If he cannot win the championship, the Hunters win. I, I like that a lot better. Let's do that. Look at Bronny win an MVP. Alright, here we go. They gotta play the Magic in the first round. And who will be joining the Magic? Can it be MJ for once? Finally, MJ. And the GOAT is just barely gonna get by here in game seven. Now he's gotta play the Celtics, which is the team MJ was literally just on. So let's see if MJ is going back to that team in it. Yeah, okay, he is. And this is hopefully gonna be a sweep for the GOAT. Okay, no 3 0 comeback. This was pretty much just a regular team because MJ was already on this team. So they kind of lost their guy, just got him back. So it, the GOAT got pretty lucky here. And now they face this tough Bucks team in the conference finals. Who's getting added to this team? Let's see who's gonna go ahead and be, and it's LeBron. And I guess that's gonna be an easy sweep for Milwaukee. Yeah, that, that team is really OP, especially when you add a hunter onto it. It's kind of crazy. Well, Goat, you got two years left. Make it count. Trenton Flowers MVP. And the Raptors got to play Washington in the first round. Let's see who's Jordan the Wizards. That's going to be LeBron. Well, they got through that first shot pretty easily here in a sweep. And now they're facing the Celtics who have MJ, so nobody's getting added. And that's going to be a gentleman sweep. Well, they don't have to play that Bucks team, but this Magic team is still pretty good. This could be the Goat's best chance at a 
championship here. They gotta play MJ. And the Raptors blow out the Magic here in game seven. And now we have the toughest challenge of all. This team already has 390 overalls, and now they're gonna be adding LeBron and MJ. Well, we're gonna go game by game here. Here we go. Game one, Raptors take. Game two, Raptors take. Game three, Timberwolves take. Game four, Raptors take. And of course, we gotta simcast this game because this could be the video right here. Oh, and it's looking like, oh no, they're kind of making it. They're making it. Ah, the comeback was too late. And just like that, the GOAT is the winner of the NBA manhunt. He was only gonna have one more year to get it done. I'm surprised they won. I don't know how they won that series in five. That team was stacked. And there's that finals MVP. Wait, why are there two goats there? What, what the hell was that? I promise you, there's not two goats on the team. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why there were two of them right there. That was so weird. Well, that's gonna do it for NBA manhunt. Let me know what you wanna see next. Subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.